Doc Talk, sponsored by Geisinger Holy Spirit. Doctors and nurses since day one have been on the front lines of the pandemic, but there's another group of individuals that we're honoring this week dedicated to combating the coronavirus. I explain in this week's Doc Talk. It's EMS week, a week dedicated to honor the work that emergency medical service personnel provides when life is on the line. So we want to recognize our EMS providers, and that includes, you know, Geisinger EMS family members. That's Geisinger Life Flight, Geisinger EMS, um, our EMTs and paramedics um, that are part of our Geisinger employees, as well as our community partners. That also includes private ambulance companies, community and fire-based volunteers. EMS workers often go to the scene where emergency medical treatment is needed. They're out there um, in front of the front lines. You know, as emergency medicine, we're kind of always thought of as the front line, which we are sort of the front door for emergency care. But before they get to us, especially the critically ill and injured, they go with EMS. Their own personal safety, going into completely uncontrolled environments. You know, we joke in the emergency department about how difficult it is to control our environment compared to other places in the hospital. EMS is, is wherever the 911 call is. And there could still be danger to anyone present at the location the 911 call is coming from, but EMS has the responsibility to go there anyway. One of the big dangers today with the pandemic is exposure. And now it's just even heightened because we have this communicable infectious disease um, that as a country we're struggling with. And it's very difficult despite the um, best efforts of 911 centers and dispatch centers um, to uh, make sure that our EMS providers know whether or not they're potentially being exposed. With the current pandemic, EMS have to take on additional risk and must protect themselves more than usual to minimize exposure. The difficult job they do already now is coupled with the fact they have to wear additional PPE, masks, gowns, gloves, um, you know, that further encumbers their ability to do their work, to communicate with their patients. I mean, it definitely adds a level of stress and struggle to the things they were already dealing with. This is a glimpse of working on the very front of the front lines.